Hey everyone, Legendary Bacon here, bringing you a new gameplay video. This is Prison Architect. There's a lot of new content coming out for the game, so I figured I'd feature a, a video on it and tell everybody a little bit more about the game. So, uh, initially you start off with a few uh, workers and some basic supplies to get going. Um, what I initially like to do is just create a perimeter fence, um, usually a couple spaces away from the outside of the map. Yeah, about, about there. And then I just like to kind of box my building area in. This is helpful, um, especially when you're, when you have prisoners and you're, you know, building up. You don't want people to just run out of the prison during construction, so it's good to have um, one fence kind of going all the way around, I find. I'm sure there's other ways of doing it, but I just find this is a good way not to make mistakes and have people just run out of your prison. Alright, uh, the next thing I like to do is uh, usually put a large door kind of near the front so that um, everybody can get in and out pretty easily. Um, let's start with this guy here. The large gray door, yep. And we're gonna have kind of a main entrance for now. That way I don't have too many places to uh, worry about uh, people escaping through. So I'm going to kind of box in this initial area and we're going to kind of make a uh, kind of like a gatehouse concept. All right. So we'll kind of box it in like this. Like that. Some players are super anal and probably like to have things perfectly centered, but uh, this will do for me. Um, and then I like to have access for staff. So because we're going to have a guard in here, he can open the locked doors for staff, and this can help to prevent uh, people from just running out. So let's uh, go back to doors, and let's just make a generic jail door here. Uh, the next thing I want to start building is a couple offices up here. Every um, staff member, well, certain staff members that you hire uh, require offices, so we're going to build those up. And I can't remember the exact measurements uh, for an office, but I think it's something like six meters wide, because uh, the minimum for an office I think is four by four, but if that's wrong, then uh, we'll just correct that. So I'm going to kind of make it 20 meters long. And then um, I can put a couple offices in this one building here. All right. Uh, let's throw just like a generic staff door here. So that way only staff can enter. And we're going to put another staff door on this side because presumably they might need to get into the main part of the prison. But we might want to help to limit prisoner access. And we're going to do the same thing up here so that the outside, I'm going to call this kind of a walkway, uh, so that only staff can really get through it. All right. So we start off with 24000 All my staff cost money, so we're kind of losing money over time right now. So I want to get the prison up and running as soon as I can. Uh, that's just a note that I just found there. There's notes that will pop up in the game. Uh, they're quite interesting. Um, okay, so we want to start laying out some rooms. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to expand the garbage so that it goes kind of all the way down to here. And I'm going to also expand the deliveries. Eventually I'll have all of these uh, kind of more or less fenced in. But uh, for now, this will do. So we'll kind of go up to there. Actually, I guess we could go up to maybe there. And then I'm also going to create a kind of a storage area just along here. All right, that should do for now. So there's a few basic buildings you want to get going. Um, one of the best ways to start, especially if you're not sure what to do, is you can take some of the, the missions. So... If you go into reports in the bottom right here, oh, I thought it was. Why 
Why is it not opening? Oh, that's weird. Okay, <laughs> I don't know why that wasn't opening. Um, okay, so you can get different grants. So what I like to do to get give myself some guidance is get the basic detention center grant. So once you build a holding cell, shower, yard, kitchen, canteen, and have at least two guards and two cooks, you're going to get 30 grand. These are also all the basic buildings you're going to need for a prison, so it makes sense to kind of follow along and uh, complete this as you go. So that's a good place to start. I also like to get the administration center uh, right away because um, I usually like to get offices built uh, pretty early on. So I think those are two good grants to start off with. It also gives us a bit of, you know, some goals to follow. So uh, when prisoners come, they pull up in the trucks here and then they're loaded into the prison. So it'd be nice to have like a holding area maybe around here uh, for prisoners to kind of come into and uh, we can sort them out and then get them rooms later. So I'm going to build a concrete building and we're going to make it, yeah, something like that, 10 by 10. That should be good. Okay, and then it requires an entrance. Uh, we're just going to do a standard, just basic jail door. And we're going to, I'm going to build it further on this side because I might want to create a gating system in here. Um, also, this is going to be another new pathway for staff to move through. Um, I'm just going to put a staff door on there for now. I might change that to a jail door later, but just to limit access for now. Okay. So my workers are working away on that. I'm going to go up to times two speed uh, so we can get some construction done a little bit faster. Um, I'm just going to build a small yard just outside here. So this is where your prisoners are going to go to do recreational activities, um, work out, <laughs> stay fit, stay healthy, keeps them from uh, going crazy on you. So I'm just going to build a small yard, um, yeah, right about there. And then uh, we're going to continue the fence along this same kind of line here. And, you know, when you build your prison, feel free to do something totally different. This is just kind of me throwing things together here. So uh, you can also get trees removed. I think, uh, I don't know, in some places it might be visually appealing to have some trees, but I kind of want to keep this area clear. Okay. The next thing we're going to build is uh, kind of a kitchen area here and a cantina. So cantina is kind of the cafeteria where your um, prisoners are going to eat and then the kitchen is obviously where the food's prepared. Uh, my concept I usually go for is to have a back door into the kitchen so the staff can enter through the back and then the prisoners can enter through the front. Um, I'm sure there's some different ways of doing it but I find that works pretty effectively. So I usually like to build a pretty big cantina and kitchen off the start because you can always expand it um, as your prison grows. Um, so that, that just seems like a generically good size. I don't know, I'm sure you can precisely measure everything out so it's exact, but this will do for us. Okay, so we're going to want to build a staff door down here. And we're going to want to build a jail door up here. Actually, maybe here. Yeah, and then I'm going to build another jail door over here. And uh, it'll make more sense why I'm doing this uh, later. This is essentially going to be a pathway, and I'm going to stick a metal detector in the middle. So this is where I can make sure prisoners are not stealing, you know, knives and forks and stuff out of the kitchen. Uh, cafeteria, I mean. Uh, so that's going to be my way of, of dealing with, with that. All right, so that's gonna be our cantina. I think we can kind of lay out the room now just to give us an idea. Oh no, I gotta wait till the building's built. Okay, so those, uh, so we just finished the, the shower. We can actually build right into the holding cell for now. 
Uh, so we're pretty much done with this. Um, but we could start building uh, the first cell block. Might be a good place to start. So what I'm going to do is, let's see. I think the idea is I want to have two cells on either side with a main corridor going up. So I'm thinking 12 meters, and then we'll kind of go up. I might need to work on that a bit, but this is going to be the first cell block. Um, it'll make more sense once it starts coming together. And we're going to build a large door on that one. There we go. Okay. And once this building's done, I can start laying in the offices. So that's a, that's a pretty good start for what we're trying to do here. Okay, let's speed it up a bit. Once you get a warden, uh, you can start opening up more features in the game. I still I don't understand why that report doesn't open up. There we go. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's a graph. Don't need that. Yeah, so you need a, a warden to open up bureaucracy where you can start uh, researching uh, different uh, different technology, like you can get snipers, you can get dogs to look for tunnels, uh, tons and tons and tons of, of different parts of the game. Uh, you can build psych wards, uh, it's really, really involved. Uh, there's a lot of layers to this game. Uh, okay, so the next thing I like to do is build like utility room. Uh, so this kind of general area is not a bad spot for like a utility room. So let's build a... Maybe... Yeah, I guess I don't need to put it necessarily in a room initially. So... Let's put the power plant there and let's put the water pump something like that. For now, we can always change it if it doesn't suit our needs. Uh, then we can start running power lines through here or cable. Okay, there we go. Put another line through here, just kind of cover the whole building. And yeah, this I think this power plant's going to kind of run this side of the the prison, and then we're going to get a couple more later on there we go something like that there we go and then we're gonna run a, a line down here oh I don't know what's up with all these oh crap I forgot to turn off uh, prisoner intake uh oh uh, shoot. <laughs> so when the game first starts up, definitely close off prisoner intake. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a whole bunch of prisoners and no way to deal with them. So this is going to be a bit of a challenge here, but let's get up to speed quickly. So I'm going to hire some guards. We're going to get uh, this building here going for them. This is not ideal, but it's going to be a good challenge to show kind of what can go wrong. So we're going to build a holding cell for them here. And we're going to build a couple key objects in here. Build a window for, for light. And we're going to build a couple toilets. If I can find them, there they are. Um, and because our, our pipe system is back here, I think toilets over here makes some sense. We're also going to want to put a sprinkler in here in case there's a fire. And let's see. Maybe as people walk in, there'll be a statue of me right there. <laughs> okay. They've added a ton of new items now. Okay. 
Uh, so there's a couple items that are required for a holding cell. That's a bench, a toilet. It's got to be an enclosed area of 5x5. Five five. So let's figure out where we're going to put a couple benches. Oh, no. We want to... There we go. Like one of these guys. Okay. Maybe one there and one here. Maybe a couple here and here for now. There we go. Okay, that's a good start. We can always add some more uh, stuff, but that's kind of the bare minimum. Okay. Uh, we can also build a like a shower kind of right up here. So it's kind of weird, but you can build like a room within a room, which I think might work for what we need. There we go. So it just requires a shower head. Um, and it, drains are always good. There we go. Maybe a drain near the front there. Where the heck is the shower head? There's so many. Oh my gosh, there's so many objects. <laughs> uh, so the nice thing is you got a sh uh, search feature here, so you can uh, search what you're looking for. Okay. Now, uh, these prisoners are going to start to get angry at me because they're just sitting out here not being fed, um, just being handcuffed, so it's not ideal. So I want to start getting them into uh, the holding cell here at least. And then we want to get this cantina up pretty quickly. <laughs> okay. Uh, where? What am I looking for? Okay, so kitchen is going to be down here. It doesn't need to be too big. But maybe, yeah, six. There we go. That should be good. And then we're going to put the cantina all up in here. And then I'm going to kind of create a divider between the two rooms so that prisoners can't just walk into the kitchen and, you know, shiv the cooks and stuff. <laughs> okay. Something like that. There we go. Hmm. Okay. go. Alright. Okay, so we can build a couple offices here. If I can find where they, oh, they're there. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to build some 4x4 four four offices. There we go. Oh, almost perfect. So I need to make it a little bit longer. So let's extend this building a little bit. There we go. Uh, I think it requires a door though, which is kind of, kind of weird. We'll just put a staff door there for now. There we go. Okay, why can my prisoners not go in here? Is it because we haven't closed it off? Been closed, surrounded by walls and doors. Okay, so maybe that shower is actually an issue. <laughs> I thought you could do that. Hmm. So we could build them like an outside shower area for now, I guess. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Maybe we'll put it kind of right here. There we go. Yeah, maybe three. And then where the heck are, is the drain pipe? There it is. Alright. We want to get uh, piping going into the the toilets, 
you want to be careful with what piping you have connecting to this toilet. So um, prisoners can actually escape through the piping. So you want to be just careful of that. But if you use the uh, the large pipe up to the building, maybe something like that actually. And then if we use small pipe, it's going to be. I, I don't think they can crawl through the small pipe. If our memory serves me correct. <clears throat> there we go. All right. <clears throat> We're going to build some capacitors here so we can boost uh, how much power this uh, this guy can handle because he's already at max capacity. So that's one thing you want to be careful of. If ever this goes to beyond max, uh, you're going to lose power to the whole prison and it's just going to cause pandemonium and you're probably going to end up with a bunch of escaped prisoners. Uh, looks like we placed benches in here. I don't, I don't understand. Maybe it's the wrong type of bench. No, oh, that could be. Yeah. Bench or bench small. Okay, so I placed the wrong type of bench in here. That's unfortunate. <laughs> okay. So we're going to dismantle these ones that I built by mistake. I think they're outside benches that I built. There's almost too many objects now in the game. All right, once we get that holding cell up, then our prisoners can actually start getting into our prison. So you can see there's a lot involved into this prison, but once you get the first things going, it, it starts going smoothly. So we're gonna now dismantle these walls, don't need that. And we're gonna start building our first couple offices here. So for certain um, rooms to be considered uh, a finished room they have to have a requirement of uh, layout plus objects so an office requires an office desk chair and filing cabinet so let's go ahead and start placing those you might want to mix up the offices make them look unique but I usually just do a uniform kind of layout all right and then I need desks rotate that around with the R button. There we go. And we're going to put in some chairs. Uh, yeah, let's give them some fancy office chairs. There we go. Okay, so now once these rooms are fully uh, sealed off and have all the objects, then uh, they'll be considered a finished room. But until then, uh, we'll just have to wait. Wait, I might not have made these offices big enough, actually. <laughs> okay, before these guys do all that, let's fix that. Why is it blocked? Hmm. All right, now our prisoners are in our holding cell at least. <laughs> They're gonna be less angry at me, that's good. Uh, looks like we're having some power problems, but I think I can turn this back on now. There we go. Okay, there, we're making progress. We got power, we got prisoners in the prison. Uh, our cantina's coming together. Uh, we'll place a sink here for now. Uh, serving table is uh, where the prisoners are going to grab the food from. Um, eventually we're going to want two of them. Um, I 
think we'll just start off by putting two in. And then uh, we just need some benches and some tables. Here we go, we'll put some large tables in. And then we can put some uh, smaller tables. Uh, I can't quite fit them there, but maybe I can... Yeah, I can kind of make some tables along this wall, I think, works. The loner prisoners can eat at these tables, I guess. <laughs> there we go. Okay. And then we also need a couple cookers. And I think three fridges should be fine. And we could hire a couple, couple cooks. There we go, two. We can hire ourselves a warden. All right, and let's uh, fix these offices quickly. Okay, so we need a four by two. So we'll rebuild those walls there. Okay. Oh, oh, one of my prisoners tried to escape. Uh, okay. And it looks like he got knocked out by the guards, luckily. So let's quickly unlock security and prison policy. And let's hire a couple more guards, which is a bit of an overkill right now, but uh, just until I get things settled. Uh, right now, things are kind of all over the place. There we go. I'm going to build a large jail door here. Then that will kind of seal in this area once I put another jail door here. Uh, the next thing we can start building is the holding cells. So the cool thing is uh, this has a quick build so you can build like a basic cell and just kind of copy paste it in where you want it. So I kind of like this idea. So you can also set up your own uh, copy paste templates. Uh, it's really handy and uh, it just makes for building a prison really quick and easy. We're going to end up uh, with a little more room, but we can adjust that later. That's fine. Almost fit perfectly. This is why it's usually good to map it out beforehand. Okay. What am I missing here? So, there we go. Oh. Okay, so that's going to take a lot of work to build. I'm going to keep this uh, locked open. That way my workers can go in. Any jail doors requires uh, a guard to open it. And then until I get this prison set up properly, uh, it's going to be very hard to do. Uh, that should be 5x5. Five five. So let's just... Uh... Oh, okay. So, here's some problem solving. So this office doesn't fully take up that 4x4 four four, so it's not considered an office <laughs> okay there we go maybe we'll just do this there and then we've got to remove this little bit of wall otherwise this is not considered a proper 4x4 four four area okay And then we need water coming into here. So let's route some water. Uh, we seem to have kind of a main access coming here. So 
Let's run that along here. Might be a bit overkill for pipes, but uh, eventually we're going to need them later, I think. All right, things are coming together. <laughs> Slow and steady. So we completed that first grant, so let's grab another grant. Okay. Might be good to do health and well being. Or actually, uh, no, let's do uh, a staff room, would be quite useful. So I think the staff room back here makes a little bit of sense. Yeah, maybe something like that. That will be good. Actually, let's build a building in this entire area, and then we can kind of make a, it uh, half utility room and half staff room. There we go. And let's also extend our offices here. Perfect. And we're going to add a little bit more to... So, counted four spaces up. One, two, three, four. So that's a four by four area there. And one, two, three, four. And that's a four by four area there. So that's perfect. Maybe we can make this back area like a storage cupboard or something. Okay, so we'll have potentially room for four offices later on. And it looks like our workers are busy building our first cell block here, so that's great. How are our prisoners? Our prisoners are eating food, that's good. Our cooks are cooking food. Everything's coming along. Look at this. We almost have a, a proper functioning prison. <laughs> okay. So... I want to unlock deployment because that's going to allow us to place our guards uh, where we want them. And eventually we can get into things like surveillance system, uh, dogs, remote access doors, armories for uh, tasers, body armor snipers, all kinds of illegal uh, pr prison labor. You can have the prisoners making stuff and selling them, making you money. And then you can also have cleaning and groundskeeping, bank loans. Uh, there's so many different uh, things that you can unlock in the game. Uh, it adds for a lot of gameplay. And um, as your prison grows, you can kind of develop your tech and grow along with it. Uh, so this office still says it's not 4x4, and I think that's because these doors are kind of mangled. All right, so let's dismantle both these doors and we'll place a new door. There we go. And then let's also double check our room and place it. There we go. So that was part of the problem. All right. And uh, now we're going to kind of uh, section off this uh, area here so we don't have prisoners going where we, where we don't want them to go and we're going to kind of make a staff entrance area here something kind of like that for now uh, yeah there we go so now staff can come in here and into the back and don't have to worry about prisoners at all Okay, now I'm going to explain the uh, the purpose of these pathways. There's probably more efficient ways of doing them, but um, this kind of does the trick. Okay, so now we want uh, metal detectors. So if we place a metal detector here, um, because prisoners are forced to walk through this path, 
uh, they're gonna end up being detected. It looks like we just had a death, so maybe one of the prisoners killed another prisoner. That's not good. It's a, not a very safe prison right now. <laughs> yeah, so it looks like the prisoner has killed somebody. That's not good. Uh, which is why we need to get them into proper cells and then we can set up cameras and monitor them better. It probably didn't help that I had them locked up outside here for such a long time. They're probably all angry. <laughs> Okay, um, so let's uh, let's get some pipes going around the cell blocks. As long as you don't build these in the cell blocks uh, to make tunnels too easy, I find that works pretty good. And then we'll throw down some pipes so we can connect the toilets uh, to uh, the larger pipes here. Yeah, if you have tunnels connecting into the cell rooms, it makes it really easy for prisoners to dig their way out. There we go. Oh. Okay, got that one. There we go. Okay, now we'll let our workers uh, continue on that. And our little uh, room here requires a door. So this is going to be a staff room here, so let's put doors on either side. And then this is going to be kind of a utility room here. So let's uh, section off the... Oh, why can't I section that off yet? Oh, because it's not complete. Now we got to finish these other two offices. There's a ton to do in this game, and it's a lot of fun. And you can see that uh, you got to constantly keep an eye on your prisoners because they can uh, end up attacking the staff, escaping, uh, killing each other, fighting with each other. Uh, you got to kind of keep them off doing that kind of stuff. Okay. So now the metal detectors need power, so let's connect them to the grid. It'd also be nice to have a metal detector um, for anything that comes into the prison. So at least uh, the first time it comes in, it gets scanned. So let's uh, create a pathway and force all everybody to come in through the bottom here, and then we can get them scanned at this point. Build a gate right there, <clears throat> and metal detector. There we go. Eventually, we can put uh, a bigger wall up and maybe barbed wire. Okay, so our prisoners are starting to move into their cells as we complete them. That's good. It's going to make them a lot happier. They don't like all being cooped up in this holding cell. It's good in every prison to have at least one holding cell. That way, if for some reason you get over capacity or, or anything like that, at least you have a place to dump all the prisoners. And eventually we'll clean that holding cell up a bit and add some more stuff to it. Uh, there's not a lot going on in the yard, so I'm going to make the yard a little bit bigger and start to put in some items. Okay. So I'm going to have the yard take up this whole area here because it's going to be all the prisoners from cell block A and the holding cell going into here. So what do we want our prisoners to have? A uh, phone booth would be good. Then they can call their family, hopefully not nefarious things, which eventually you could uh, tap the phones and then catch them if they're doing anything bad. So you gotta be careful, uh, but you do wanna take care of their social needs, so I feel like that's important to have. 
Uh, might be a little luxurious, but I'm going to give them a, a TV and radio. Actually, two TVs and two radios. There we go. And uh, I'm also going to give them a punching bag. Take out some of their frustrations. That way they're not taking it out on each other or my guards. And some workbenches so they can work out. There we go. This is actually a pretty luxurious prison. Look at that. All right. <clears throat> oh, dumbbell rack. Oh. Okay, let's build two of those. That way, uh, if people can't share, at least there's two. And a gym mat. Okay. There we go. Place for people to stretch. And now let's... Uh, Okay, once this is built, we'll work on the staff room. There we go. All right. This is coming along. Let's see. I can, I can lock these doors open for now. So that way we don't require the guards all the time. An old bed. Uh, you can build some cheap old beds, comfy beds, or bunk beds. Or you can just give them a foam mat if you want to just save money and just throw down a cheap mattress. That's awesome. There's a lot of options in the game now. Okay. I'm also going to build uh, jail doors back here because I don't want prisoners wandering around through my back paths here. So this gives me a back path around the entire prison, and uh, I feel like that's uh, an effective way of managing everything. I guess it would help if my metal detector here had power. <laughs> there we go. Let's connect it up to the network. All right. And soon we'll be able to get our staff room going. It would be good to have a couple more guards. And now we can hire a police chief and an accountant. So I'll have to build an office for her. So let's actually build a couple more offices. There we go. Okay. So we just need the objects. Filing cabinet. And a desk. Give them uh, fancy chairs, and I think that's all they need. So we just gotta let all these things get built. So every time you uh, place an object, it gets ordered, and then it gets transported in, and then it needs to be offloaded, and then the workers can place the object. So trying to simulate real life a little bit, which is good. Okay, so far our kitchen and cantina are good. Once all the pipe gets laid, uh, this cell block will be all done. So am I missing something with my pipes, or are they just not all... Yeah, okay, they're not all laid yet. It's a lot of work. Oh, somebody dropped a Polaroid. There we go. <laughs> okay. No. How do I get rid of that? I think it, oh, it disappears. There we go. Okay. And we'll get some power for the TVs. My prisoners are going to be in the lap of luxury. Nobody's going to be rioting or killing anybody. Uh, so this guy just got detected by our metal detector, which is why we have it here. And then that notified the guard, so the guard's going to search him. And we'll see what we find. Oh, a fork. There we go. So it's really good to have those metal detectors. All right. Uh, let's have a look at our bureaucracy here. So we're just about done with deployment, and then I'll show you how deployment works, and then uh, we're going to call this episode done. And that's kind of the basics of getting your prison started. There's so much more to work on, so much more to see and do, but um, I feel like this gives you a pretty good idea of what the game's all about, 
and what getting started looks like. Okay, so I'm just looking at the incident reports here and it looks like two prisoners are requiring solitary confinement. So I'm gonna build a solitary confinement room uh, over here for now. This is probably not the best long-term uh, place for it, but I'm gonna build two solitary confinement rooms here. And we're gonna build some uh, heavy doors, uh, solitary doors here and here and then we're going to have staff doors here and here there we go well, let's speed things up a little bit we got a lot of construction to do and it looks like our power is still doing pretty good we got a ton of capacitors each capacitor is going to add another notch to the, uh, the power uh, so we can power quite a few things off just a single power generator but eventually we're going to want two all right and it looks like our cell blocks about halfway complete and then i think everybody has a room now so that's good we're still working on the plumbing situation and i'm gonna lock this open and lock this guy open that way our workers can move around a little bit quicker. Oh, the showers are creating a watery mess everywhere. That's why it's good to have drains. Okay. And so you can see the metal detector just detected something in that box that came in. So sometimes uh, contraband can get hidden in here, either accidentally or maliciously, and prisoners can get hold of you know those things and use them as weapons um, or you know it could be a huge variety of objects so you, you've got to be careful pretty much prisoners will take whatever they can get and find a way to use it maliciously <laughs> okay looks like I misplaced that pipe there oh we found some contraband so uh, one thing you can do is uh, what's called a shakedown. So you can order all the guards to search every possible place in the uh, prison. So let's do that and let's search all sectors. Uh, we're actually gonna create a couple more guards and I'm gonna show you how deployment works next. So there's six out of 65 places they've searched 45, 46, it's going up. Look at all the things they're finding. That They found a shank, they found booze, they found drugs, and they found a hammer. So it's good every so often I find to do a shakedown. Um, and then once you get a control of the flow of, of contraband and goods into the prison and you lock that down pretty good, uh, you don't need to do it quite as regularly, but you should still occasionally do it because there's so many different ways that things can get into your prison. <clears throat> all right. So now let's uh, take a look at deployment. So I want to assign guards to certain places. So I want a main. I want somebody always at the main gate here. Um, first off, to open the doors, and second off, to uh, to search anything that the metal detectors uh, come across, and then also at the metal detector coming in and out of the kitchen, and then yeah kind of one at the canteen and one going into the kitchen. This stops prisoners from sneaking into the kitchen and causing problems. And that should be good. Okay. I could put two officers here, one on either side. That might be not a bad idea for now. And then we're going to put... Uh, yeah, actually, that's that's pretty good. Uh, and then we can also set up patrols, so, and we can tell prisoners which direction I want them to go for certain things, uh, to c control the flow of people. There's a, and you can also uh, tell prisoners that nobody's allowed here. So, I can say, hey, this area is staff only. This whole area. Same with the staff rooms. I don't want any prisoners coming in and in there. 
and eventually this is going to become the staff room and utility room, so I don't want prisoners going there. I also don't want the prisoners going down these pathways. So you can kind of, once a prisoner wanders in here, you kind of know they're up to nefarious activities. And then we can do the same for here. And we really only want our cooks going down this back path and into the kitchen and into this area. So now we're telling the prisoners they can only go into the cell blocks, the yard, the holding cells, and into the cantina. And I don't want them going anywhere else. Eventually, you can make certain cells um, or certain cell blocks uh, max sector, uh, security, mi minimum security, or uh, minor security. But we're going to keep it shared with all security because uh, we just don't have enough room to section off parts of the prison for certain types of prisoners yet. Uh, and then we can set up patrols. So uh, we're going to... There it is, patrols, okay. Okay, so I gotta unlock patrols first, but essentially you can drag a line and tell uh, a officer that you want him to patrol the cell block, for example, and patrol up and down, just to give you eyes on this area all the time. Because this is probably where a lot of trouble's gonna happen. You also might want an officer patrolling the cantina. A lot of things can go wrong with fights and stuff in there. But, um, yeah, that's, uh, that's the game. Uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, the video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.